So we're here at the Sheraton New York and Towers. We're right, I mean, right off in the middle of everything. It's so awesome. And we're here to talk to these girls today about their eco efforts for the hotel and why people show up here for the holidays. TheGreenGirls.com Claire Cutting, housekeeping manager. Zoe Cohen, VIP manager. And we're both the co-chairs of our sustainability com committee here at the Sheridan. So Claire, tell us first off, let's talk about the eco efforts here. What are things that just pop into in the mind when, when we talk green for the Sheraton? Well, the biggest thing I would say we have going on today is our very first collection of our bottled amenity recycling program. We have been collecting used shampoos, lotions, conditioners, and shower gels for about a month now. It was approved by our directors, and we RAs have been collecting them from the rooms. And today we are going to be having a charity from Long Island come and pick them up and they're going to be used to help homeless men and women throughout the Long Island area. Zoe, in the hotel industry um, in general, how do they prioritize environmental mo movement at this point, do you think? Well, for us, Fritz von Passion is the CEO of Starwood and his number one priority when he came to Starwood as a company was to really improve our sustainability initiatives around the world. Um, he believes and we all believe that the hotel industry is a completely global uh, industry and with that we have to do our part to me make this world uh, keep prospering and um, we have really really big goals we have a goal right now 30 2020 um, to reduce our gas and water consumption by 30 percent and 20 percent by the year 2020 um, for us at least we were one of the first hotels in New York City of our size to participate in a composting program so we've been doing that for about two years now and it was really kind of cutting edge when we went into it two years ago because it was before any of the major hotel companies were doing it. Whole Foods was doing it um, and a few other big brands were doing it but we really brought it to the hotel industry in New York so we're so excited about that and all of our kitchens and our banquets we compost all of our wet waste um, and it gets shipped to a composting site where they turn it into soil which will help us grow more products and have more wonderful things in the earth. One of our big new features in our renovated rooms is our thermostats, which are motion censored. So it's a really big deal because now the thermostats are only on when they sense motion in the room. So if the room goes unused for a day or two, it's off and we're not using any energy to heat or cool the room regardless of the temperature of time or year. Then when the guest comes in, it senses somebody in the room. You walk in, you can adjust it to yourself. But then when you leave the room, it turns off again so as to save that energy. What do you think are the main reasons why? why people choose to come here for the holiday? Well, it's New York City. <laughs> we are so close to Times Square, so close to Rockefeller Center, so close to the huge tree that everyone wants to see. Um, everyone goes ice skating now. It's Even though it's freezing, it's a really nice time to get outdoors, to walk around, do window shopping. Um, and New York is one of the most green cities because we don't drive everywhere. You, if you can come here for a week and not take a taxi cab once, our subway system is amazing. Right outside of our door we have subway lines that will take you everywhere. Um, we also encourage green walking tours, the green market in Union Square and our concierge can provide all of that fun information to help you have a really sustainable and fun week on the holiday times. Nice. Yeah. What are some preparations that the Sheraton does for the holidays? Well, our lobby doesn't usually look this beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it always looks beautiful, but now we have our decorations out, um, and everything is reused. So we don't uh, purchase new, new decorations every year. We do reuse them um, in not only our lobby but our club lounge and all of our other public space. Um, and we just get excited for more families to come. Usually, we do have a, a heavier business clientele, but during the months of November, December, January, we definitely see families coming from all around the world, first time in New York, and for us living in New York, it's really fun to be able to share why we love New York and why we love to be here. Now, does every Sheraton location have a green team? That is correct. Every Starwood hotel in the world has a green team. Very nice. Yeah. How long about two years ago, when Fritz von Passion started with us and made that his big push for the company, um, each hotel had to choose a sustainability chair, um, and, and with that we had to um, create a committee, and we have goals that we have to hit, and we have to report back on all of our energy use, our water use, um, and, and measure it year over year. 
Claire, I know that a lot of this stuff is done, you know, behind the scenes, right? So what do you think is the most effective change that um, the hotel has done? Environmentally, I would have to say actually our cafeteria. I mean, we have a very large staff. We have over 1,700 rooms in the hotel. So that requires a lot of back of house staff, a lot of people to feed. And now in our cafeteria, you will find no styrofoam. You will find no disposable products. Um, we use trays for if you're eating in the cafeteria. We have these eco-friendly recycled green plates. We have um, hard plastic cups that our dishwashers reuse. And now that we have these fancy new water-saving dishwashers that actually save a lot more, I think it's almost 50% more water than our previous dishwashers, it makes more sense to use these non-disposable cups and mugs. So the cafeteria now has sort of become our sustainability center because it really saves between the composting and no styrofoam and no disposable plate silverware cups. We're really trying to go green in the back of the house as well as for our guests. And just to give you an idea also, we do about 800 covers for lunch and about 800 covers for dinner. So that's a lot of glassware, a lot of plasticware that we're avoiding. Now tell us me about the 100 mile menu that you guys have. Yeah, it's a really, we have wonderful, wonderful chefs here. And um, the 100 mile menu is really cool because all of the products come with, from within a 100 mile radius of the hotel. So uh, usually if you go to any given hotel, the food products that are coming in travel somewhat of 15 hundred miles to get to the table. Um, so with this, we're reducing the energy, the cars. We don't need as much to, to use any of that stuff to get to the hotel. And we're also supporting our local farmers in the New Jersey, Philadelphia, New York areas. Um, and it's cool because with the clients, they get to kind of pick what they want um, based on the season and where they are. Now, is this a Starwood uh, program in general? Um, every Starwood hotel does have a 100-mile menu or, uh, or something of the sort where they have a sustainable menu. Our chefs definitely take it to the next degree, though. Yeah. Want to learn more about the green efforts of Sheraton, um, where did it go? They can go to Sheraton.com, and we will have stuff about our sustainability. Um, you could also reach out to either of us directly for more information. Uh, Zoe.cohen at Sheraton.com. And Claire.cutting at Sheraton.com. TheGreenGirls.com